Hi, welcome to my channel. I am back with my November wrap up. November was a really good month for me. I participated in Mini Moji and I vlogged about it. So I will link the vlog if you would like to see my process of reading some of these books. I was able to consume nine pieces of media. I have notes in front of me and I'm gonna scoot over so I can pop in the image. So let's get right into it. Up first, I read Before Mini Moji Started, Before I Fall by Lauren Oliver. I gave this book three stars. I felt like it was entirely too long. It was a 14 hour audiobook. And I thought it was supposed to be this great redemption arc about how she's going to live this day over and over and she's going to learn about herself and might try to fix the mistakes and become a better person and to a sense it was towards the very 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 end but I hated the main character I hated her friend group I found it to be very toxic and even though she did have a tiny bit of a redemption arc in the end I still found her awful all the way through the book loved the uh, romance even though she didn't deserve it and I loved the narrator. She was amazing. Okay, so my next audiobook is was for Emoji a thon, and it was Dear Ijuele or A Feminist Manifesto and 15 Suggestions by Chimamanda Ngozi Adichie. And I'm pretty sure I'm butchering her name, but I gave this four stars. I loved it. I feel like it's the conversations I continuously have with my family. And so the next audiobook I listened to was Not That Kind of Girl, A Girl, A Young Woman Tells You What She Learned by Lena Dunham. I gave this uh book two stars. I think I overhyped this too much in my own mind. I have been wanting to read this ever since the book came out and had the big controversy, but I waited too long and I just found that it was underwhelming very very underwhelming there were times that I found Lena was trying to be super deep and it didn't work and there was other times that she was contradicting everything that she had said in the previous chapters she is the narrator and uh, even she was boring so I wouldn't suggest listening or reading this book at all and my last audiobook I read this month was Star Girl by Jerry Spinelli. I gave this four stars. I think this is just a cute, warm, fuzzy, heartbreaking, it's a little bit of everything kind of read. It's about this boy who goes to this school where everybody strives to be the same. And one day this girl shows up. Her name is Star Girl. She turns the school upside down. Everybody falls in love with her. And then all at once things go downhill. And the narrator was okay. I would suggest it. It's cute. It's middle grade. So let's get to the books that I read this month. So I read You Don't Have to Say You Love Me by Sherman Alexi. I have a spoiler-free review of this. If you would like to know my thoughts, I will leave it linked down below. I also reread... Let me get it for you. I also reread Simon vs. the Homo Sapiens Agenda by Becky Albertalli. I did not think that I could love this book any more than I already did. It is my favorite book, but I loved it. It just taught me this month, it taught me the importance of rereading books. I used to be someone who was um, not here for rereading books, but when you go back and look at certain scenes and Simon and who Blue ends up to be or in those scenes before he even knows about Blue, Oh my God, it makes it that much better. I love this so much. And I would suggest anybody read this. It's cute. Okay. And I also have a review on that the very first time I read it. And it's spoiler free. And I will try to link that down below also. Up next, I read... 
Wander by R.J. Palacio. This is about a little boy named Augie Pullman. And he is going to school for the first time in fifth grade. I'm going to put this down. It's going to mess with my color. Because he was born with a facial deformity. And he's had to have numerous surgeries. So because of that, he was homeschooled. But then his mom decides that he should start middle school with everyone else. I read this for the movie, which I saw. The movie was a perfect book to movie adaptation is what everybody who loves book to movie adaptations wants every book to movie adaptation to be I don't know if I'm making sense but it was so spot on like obviously they had to speed up things for the movie but it was great the book I gave four stars I don't know if I told you about you don't have to say you love me I gave it five stars and this was, I said this was beautifully written and it has a positive message that everyone should read. But I didn't fall in love with it like the rest of the world. But I think that it is very important. Eight, I read The Hate You Give by Angie Thomas. This is the story of 16-year-old Star Carter who witnesses her best friend, Khalil's murder at the hands of the police. He was unarmed. And I loved, I liked this book. I liked it. I struggled with this book because as someone who's African American and wants this message to get out, and this is an important message, I did not love this book. I didn't love it. I didn't fall head over heels. Like, I feel like everybody else did. And so I was struggling with, should I just give it five to be in the in crowd? Or should I be honest? And I decided I wanted to be honest with myself that this book was good. I love the focus on family. I love Star's dad, Big Maeve. You know, I loved her relationship with Chris. And I loved that it was a raw, authentic look at, you know, Black Lives Matter and the police brutality that our country is going through right now. So I decided to give it four stars and to be honest with myself. I have to say again, 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 I love Big Maeve. I love the fact that Angie Thomas gave us a black family that had a mother and a father and who were hardworking and involved in their children's life because I feel like a lot of times the media portrays the black family as heavily broken and that the parents aren't involved in their children's lives and that they're drug addicts, crackheads, and things like that. And I love that she gave us a solid family unit. I recommend everyone read that. It's a message everyone needs to hear. And my last book is my new favorite of this month. It can go on my favorite shelf. And it's going to be Dear Martin by Nick Stone. And I gave it five stars. And this tells the story of Justice McAllister, who is on his way to an Ivy League education. And something happens. And he's put at the center of this, like, media firestorm because it involved a police officer. And it was just honestly raw, beautiful. And I loved the ending. It was a very satisfying ending. It was based on a true event. You know, obviously she took some leeway with it. But immediately once I saw... What was happening halfway through the book, I was like, yes, I remember this case. It took the world by storm, and I loved it. So it's one of my new favorites. And that is all that I listened to and read in the month of November. In the comment section down below, let me know your favorite book you read last month. And I will see you guys later.